welcome to Axel's Garage. Today it's our Christmas Eve edition. And today on Axel's, I'm here with my brother Steve. Now, this is the first time for Steve being on Axel's Garage. Yeah. All right, now Steve is, I guess, I guess we could call you a firearms expert. <laughs> An expert? Well, I don't know about you that. You were a firearms instructor in the I did. Life. I was. Okay. Yes. And both Steve and I are uh, concealed carry guys. We're retired. We're retired. Retarded. And retarded. Yes. And we're concealed carry guys. Huh. And we have had the same issue that many of you have, which is you can't find a holster that you really like. No. Right? You buy a holster. It's okay, it winds up in a box, and then you buy another holster, and you buy another holster. Before you know it, you got 20 holsters for each gun you have. We have a lot now, of holsters, yes. Now, regardless of, like, we're not going to get into when we carry certain guns. I'm a seasonal gun guy, right? I carry different guns for different seasons. Okay. Um, it's got nothing to do with how I identify my gender, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> pronouns. Yeah. But, um... Right now, it's Christmas Eve, and we are both carrying a Glock 26. Okay? So, that's our... I am. Our go-to yeah. carry gun is a Glock 26. It is. Now, those that carry a Glock 26 know it's a little fat. Fat. Fat, fat gun for fat guys. But... We hold <laughs> But... I'm not a fat guy. But the Glock 26, the reason why we are willing to carry that gun that's a little fatter over the Glock 43 is because it gives you 10 rounds plus one in the chamber. Where the 43 doesn't give you as many rounds because you got single stack magazine, but a thinner gun. Oh, so we're trying to he's find really, that. He's really thought this through. We're trying to find that happy yeah. medium. Um, happy we're trying medium. to find a holster we like. Yeah. Right? It's almost impossible. Okay, good. That See, that's. That's the key right there. It's forever. It's a forever thing. It's forever it's thing. a lifelong thing to find a holster. So yesterday, December 23rd, happened to be his birthday. Yes, it is. All right. Now, he's a lot older than I am. I'm, I am I'm older. Young. This is my little brother. Um. So what we did was we got a birthday present. Oh, my God. All right. So <laughs> yesterday, December 23rd. You <laughs> didn't get me another was your birthday. Thing. Yes. Okay. It so, was. so here you go. Oh, my God. All right. You're going to open your birthday present up. <laughs> Oh Lord! Now, very good, very fancy. Yes. All right, now this birthday present is—I I guess you could tell her. I mean, the guys that've seen the this the is title, birthday, not the, Christmas. Birthday. Oh, Christmas. Title to the video. Know what's coming? You don't know what's coming. No, I don't. So just open the damn gift. Oh Lord! I'm always looking for the perfect holster. So. Now, there are two, right now, two holsters that are making an impact in the concealed carry world. You know, I always hear about that. There's always, you know, the new thing out. Yeah. You know, it's always, there's always something. You well, know, you read about it all the time. This is the thing. There's I've a, been doing this a long time. There's a new thing. I just want to let you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And, and an old thing. Yeah. So let's check it out. Okay. This is the right box. It is the right box. It is the right, it's the right box. This is very exciting. Cross breed. All right. Cross breed. What does that mean? Cross your something? Cross breed. All right. Let's cross. open that one up first. All right. So what we got here is a cross breed holster. Right? Now, the cross breed holster is the standard, standard of the industry. Okay. Hybrid holster. Hybrid? Hybrid holster. And it's a hybrid it's a hybrid because it's leather and kydex. I get it. All right. I used to have one of these outside the waistband. Kind of. Outside the waistband. Yes. All right. I carried one of these for years, actually. So here we go. This is a crossbreed, right? Crossbreed holsters, right? Those of you that are familiar with crossbreed know it's a quality holster, all right? Kydex, right? Quality belt clips and leather. It's big. 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 Now. A lot of stuff. Now. Crossbreed makes a smaller version that they call the Micro, mm -hmm. a little smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but they don't make it for a Glock 23, uh, Glock uh, 26. 26. 26. They only make it for the 43. Mm -hmm. They don't make it for a 26. So we had to go with the bigger one. Now they claim I call them up. They claim 
that the only difference is a little bit of size, about a half inch overall around. All right? Okay. And the whole thing with this is, is that this massive leather piece will sort of spread out spread out and spread the weight out yeah, and the Kydex the is right. going to give you your yeah, retention yes, 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 and yeah. the quality crossbreed belt clips are going to keep it retained yes. okay on your belt and they're tuckable tuckable yes tuckable. Yeah, tuckable. all right now this inside the waistband holster is supposed to be the cream de la creme of inside the waistband holsters right now in December 24th 2018 this is Top of the line. 2018. 2018 top of the line. And by the way, they offer a retired and active law enforcement officer discount at Cross Creek, which we took advantage of when we got this. Now, this holster here, inside the waistband. Yes. Right? Because I think the, the agreement is. That is all going to go inside my pants? Inside your pants. Uh, all okay. of it. Okay. That's a lot to go in. It's a lot to go in your pants, I know. All let right. Me have so, a, let me have a slope. Here. We're going to put this to the side. Okay. Now, the other option, and we want to stay inside the pants. Yes. Right? Now. You know, lately, you know, for years, I always carried it outside, but I'm kind of like leaning toward inside the pants. Well, here's the thing. Last we were years. talking before yeah, yeah, about, about the guys, the guys that are recognized as leaders in the, in the industry with concealed carry. Yeah. We're all saying yeah. inside the waistband is the way to go. All right that's, now, that's what I feel, us yeah. as as New York law enforcement, we always learned it was outside the waistband. Yeah, yeah. On a thick pancake holster. Pancake holster. That's got two spots where your belt Absolutely. will go through. Will never separate because tight to the body. New York City and a lot of big police departments were always concerned with retention. It's all about retention. They don't yeah. want you losing that gun. Yeah. Right. But when you leave law enforcement or you travel to other parts of the country. Losing the gun isn't as not an issue. big of an issue because no. you're not going to get in trouble at work. Yeah, no. it sucks that you're going to lose your gun if you lose yeah, your gun. It happen. sucks that you your gun could get into the wrong hands if you lose your gun. But in the end, if you lose your gun, you're just losing something. Yeah, it's sad. You got, yeah, you got to report it. It's sad. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but in the yeah. end, you're just losing something. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen. You okay. don't lose your gun. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's not something so police departments okay. were, were always concerned with yeah, yeah, yeah. with retention. Uh -huh. Their big yeah, thing was retention. I get you. Yeah. Now, so it was outside the waistband. It was a pancake holster. Yeah. Um, lately, they've come up with Kydex outside the waistband holsters. Not thumb breaks. We even had thumb, thumb breaks, breaks right. for years. I mean, that was my um, big thing. Was, things have changed yeah, over yeah, the yeah. last 10 or 15 years as far as technology, mm -hmm. but it's still a bulky outside the waistband holster with yeah. it. The grip of the gun sticking is usually out, hanging out. Sticking out. And you can see them. You can see them a mile away. You're, in, you're in a, a department no. store. No, I don't want my shit stinking out. You could see a cop no. a mile away with a pancake. You say, oh, I can see that guy. I can see. No, a cop. A cop. You know that it's a cop. He's got a, he's got a bulky pancake holster oh, okay. on and you can see it. Right? A perp's not putting it in a holster for the most part. Right? Yeah, he's sticking it in his pants. So, inside the waistband is, is, is what people are saying. That's the way to go. Now it's to get comfort. So That's... this one here, they're saying that the leather is going to be your comfort. The Kydex is going to be your retention. This okay. is a big, this is a bit bulky it's for big. me. It's big. Well, it's big. It, it is big. It's a lot right. to put inside my pants. And we got yeah, what they so, claim is yeah. high quality belt clips yeah. Yeah. to keep it where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. And they're saying that you're not going to see anything right below the belt. No. No, I right. get that. Okay. It's, it's a good concealment thing. So, no. that's option one. Yes. Right? Now, this is the problem. You got to have a belt. You yes. got to have dress pants or jeans or khakis or something like that. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Cargo shorts with a belt. But you need a belt. A belt. Right? I'm not wearing the belt. Right? So, you're not wearing a belt. I'm not wearing a belt. All right. So, this would suck for you right now because you're really not yeah, wearing a belt. Yeah, I stopped wearing a belt. Okay. Now, <laughs> what about sweatpants? Well, you know, it's it's funny. You know, I just bought a, a, a holster for sweatpants. For sweatpants? Yeah. I needed something so because your I wanted to start biking. Yeah, it's not like I got a million holsters. I, I needed something for biking and running and jogging and walking and just going on the beach and just hanging out and not being fully clothed. And I wanted a place to store my firearm. 
Because I'm always ready. Right. Okay. Now, you're going away for yes, a couple months. Yes, I am. I am. Warm climate. You might be wearing shorts. 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 Absolutely. Sweatpants. Sweats. Not a belt. No. Bathing suit. Might be. Could be. Could if be. The weather's good enough. Yes. Okay. So now option two. Option two. Option two. I'm liking that. Okay. okay. This oh. is going to be. What is that? The brave response. <laughs> okay, wholesome. Have you seen the brave response? No. Oh, no. Because because you don't go on Facebook or any kind of social media. Facebook. All right, Brave Response. I'm old. I don't do Facebook. Right. I don't know Facebook. From BraveResponseShooting.com, one size fits all, 18 to 54 inch waist. 18 to uh, 18. 18 yeah, to yeah, 18. no, I'm in between. I, right. I, 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 I would fit in there. Right hand. I am a right handed. Right, I'm a right handed as well. Yes. And there's a reason why these are both for a Glock 26 and both right handed. Oh, they are? It's for oh, well, th this one is kind of universal. Okay. This one is specific for a Glock 26. Okay. Th this is. The, the I kind of like that. I love Kydex. Don't get me wrong. Cro cross speed is is top of the line, mm -hmm. and it's it's firearm specific. Yeah. All right, and we got it for a Glock 26. There's a reason for that. Okay. And okay. Yeah. It's it's a coincidence that you and I both are carrying a Glock 26 right now. It is a coincidence. No, it's not. Why? Because we, we both have we Glock 26. Plan. We didn't plan no, it. No, we didn't plan it, but you carry Glock 26, and I, I carry Glock 26 in the winter time. Well, that's I'm because... Because I'm a seasonal carry kind of guy. That's because I started with a Glock 19, and I thought, you know, when I retired, I would get a little smaller. Okay. I would like to have the 19 back. Well, you okay, could, go you ahead. Have go ahead, yes. So, anyway. Yeah, go ahead. So, now we, we have this one. We do. Brave response also. Brave response. Okay. okay. If you're not wearing jeans, right? Yes. If you're not wearing anything with a belt. Right. Khakis, dress pants, anything right, like that. Right, right, right. You got gym shorts on. Shorts, yes. Um, you're gym biking. shorts, biking. You're going yes. for a jog on the beach. Jog on the beach. And you want to carry your firearm. Yes. Where do you put it? <sighs> it's tough. You got these belly bands. Belly kind bands, of, right. Belly right, bands, right. yes. But, but belly bands, if you look them up and look at some videos on them, a lot of drawbacks on a belly a band. A lot of drawbacks. As a matter of fact, there's no, there's a lot no, of the drawbacks there's no draw at all. Right. Well, here's the thing. A, a lot of it's just you're carrying, but you're, you're carrying. not drawing. Right. right. You're carrying, but you're not drawing. You're not drawing. So right. here's the thing with no. concealed carry. In reality, a lot of people complain about concealed carry holsters because you can draw, but you can't reholster. And in reality, if you think about the incidents that you're going to get in when you're concealed carrying, it's personal protection. Right. You, your spouse, a family member in your right. close proximity. Right. Right. You're not going out hunting for a bad guy. No. Right? So it's draw. Draw. You don't care about reholster. No. Because chances are, when that event is over, you're probably dropping your gun and putting your hands up because police are coming. Absolutely. All right. So reholstering re is, re is not an issue. No, it's not an issue. So either. we want to be able to carry. What the hell is that? It's a Ziploc bag. Oh, wow. It's a giant Ziploc bag. We want to be able to carry yeah. a little bit better than a belly band. Okay? Yeah. Now, the reviews that this holster has gotten are it's the latest hack thing the latest yes right all the way up to holy shit i can't believe it okay so this is exciting what we have here is a remake of the belly band holster yeah okay where it's not an actual belly band but it's a holster that goes around your waist wow. and then you pull your pants up or your shorts or anything yeah. around it made with really high quality stuff the Velcro is like crazy super steroid Velcro. Nice. All right. The the inside that rides up against your body, feel that. Yeah, it's nice. That's yeah. insane, right? Pretty nice. And it's got a strap retention that's adjustable. And it's a kind of universal fit for any um, compact and subcompact. <coughs> okay. Um, for, they say you can fit a full size nib, but I don't really. I don't really believe it that much. So here's the Brave Response holster. And then it's got a, a magazine, mm -hmm. right? Mag so let's see. We need to put a magazine in there, right? I bet we could come up with a couple of magazines. Yeah, we could probably come up with magazines. Here's one, right? All right. You got so one. You got one. I got one. Yes. All right. We'll be there in a minute. All right. We could fit a magazine in there. Can you put a magazine in there? 
All right, so we got two Glock double stack magazines in there, and there's still one pocket pack here. Oh, too many. So right. they're saying you can put magazines, you can put flashlights, you can put whichever. All right. All right. Your magazine has a little pinky dinky. My magazine has a flat bottom. Dinky. All right. At 26, you kind of kind of need a pinky thinking. Only if you're not that good. I don't have the pinky. I have no problem. All right. So, brave response. Yeah. yeah. Right? Brave response. Like a belly band, but mm -hmm. not a belly band. They seem what, much what, more comfortable than a belly difference? band. Well, belly band, it's usually about this thick all the way around. Which people complain about comfort level. Yeah. This becomes your belt. So that's not holding your pants up. It's only holding mm -hmm. your holster up. And they're saying that it's it's very comfortable, and the retention is very good. You you know what it is with all of these. The proof is in is in the testing. You have to buy, unfortunately you have to buy these. You have to wear them. You have to feel how they feel on you, and you have to decide personally if you like it. If it feels comfortable. If it works. If you could get your firearm out quick enough. If you could do what you need to do to get it to, to work, reholstering is is really never for us. I, it shouldn't I'm, be never an issue. It, it's really not an issue to reholster. You know, it's not it's not a duty holster. It's a, right, and and people uh, make yeah. too much of reholstering. Yeah, I don't get the whole so, reholstering thing. So what my thought um, was, I mean, this is great for reholstering. I mean, well, this is you click it in. Right. This is beautiful for reholstering, but it's so really. This Let's is see. a lot to put inside your waist. There's a lot going on. There here. is a lot. I mean, right. I mean, it's nice, but there's a so lot. So here going we got a Glock 26. Yeah, unloaded. Oh, all right. right. It's beautiful. Slides right in. Yeah. All right. It's got a decent. Oh no, it's perfect. Amount of retention. Oh yes, it did. And it reten. Yeah, this the retention on these are excellent. All right. Trigger's covered. But right. it's a lot. Back Unless you're a skinny covered. person, maybe. That's, well, yeah. Well, maybe that's for a skinny is, guy, this is a lot to put in. And that's why we got this, because the fat guys are saying this is really good this for This is fat probably guys. nicer. Now, I, is this a side thing, a front thing? Wherever What's you want going it to on be. Here? Wherever you want it to be. All right? Yeah. So here's our brave response, right, with the 26 in it. Not brave response. This is the, that's, the uh, that's first, cross, breed. Cross breed. Exactly. first breed. Now, this one here, okay? You're going in, and the first couple times they said it's going to be yeah, a little yeah. tight. You're going to have to shape it. It's going to have to shape it a little bit, but it's how's the thumb? It's break? tight. Thumb brake comes around, yeah. and it's adjustable. Also, it's probably adjusts on it's the inside, inside here. Yeah. yeah, it's very typical. It's almost like an ankle holster. It's almost like a DeSantis ankle holster, right? Yeah, very similar with the thumb brake. Which I like that kind of a thumb break. You know, reholstering, you never reholster. This is nice. I would, I would try something. I would give something like this a go. So this is, this is the, the thing. They said you can adjust this. Yes. And you can remove it. Well, if you if don't I, like it. If I had it, I wouldn't remove it. I wouldn't remove it either, I don't think. I wouldn't remove it. Because Cause I like the thumb brake. Yeah, no, the thumb brake is not a problem for me because my duty holsters all had those kind right. of Right, and it's very reliable. Thumbers. Yeah. You're coming Boom. in with your thumb anyway. Boom. And you're breaking it apart. It's yes. just very reliable. Very, very easy to use. Very easy. All right? I don't so, know why people have issues with thumb brakes. For some reason, they I, I've seen a couple of videos and they're all like concerned over the... Right. Because a lot of the, the a lot of the buttons are on the outside. On the outside, so you're not. It's not yeah, natural. It's, it's it. not a thumb brake. Right. It's a snap, but it's, it's not a thumb brake. Right. Right. This works. This is a thumb. This yeah, is a, a real thumb. thumb it's break. a real thumb brake. Right. Even so, on even on a um yeah, it is. All right. So I would give this a try. There we go. So well, that's why we got both. Of them. Yeah. Because knowing that you have so many holes. You know what? And you're never happy with any. This is what we thought. We said, well, it's, it's Stephen's birthday. <laughs> right, and we have to do a video. It is my birthday. Yeah. Okay, and we said let's get the two top of the line holsters right now. Now yeah. I'm saying the top of the line holsters because these are the most popular, highest, highest good review holsters. Really? Currently? Really? Currently. Well, I know that one is because this got, one is. It's got big name recognition. And this one is I've too. I've never heard of this. And this one is too. 
Brave. Brave response. Response. It's getting really good reviews, yeah. and yeah. it's getting some. It's just another hack belly band kind of holes, right? But the guys that are taking this, mm -hmm. and if you search around and you look for some of the videos, the guys that are taking this holster and wearing it for a while are saying, I really like it. Yeah. And the company that's making it is actually taking feedback from people that are posting videos and saying, oh, well, that guy said that this could be a little bit, you know, and they're making right. adjustments to it. Right. So this is the latest generation of the Brave Response holster. Mm -hmm. All right, which is for when you're not wearing a belt, when you're not wearing jeans, when you're not wearing khakis, when you're not wearing a pair of camo cargos mm -hmm. like I am, and you're in shorts, you're just throwing something on quick, and Stephen lives near the beach, and, and you might want to go take a walk on the beach and just have a pair of shorts on. It would be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you got your gun with you. Right? And you can put any gun in here. We're just using the Glock 26 okay. because okay. that's what we're using. Oh, really? But you can put any gun in here. They claim that this will fit full size firearms as well the barrel might come out the bottom mm -hmm. the grip's going to stick out a little bit farther but for the most part because of the adjustable thumb brake you can fit pretty much anything yeah yeah but for us we're looking at Glock 26 because okay. that's what we normally carry right okay right. Right. so this is what I'm thinking then this was the the premise behind this mm -hmm. was right quality there, made it's got our name on it even there's a premise here right yeah there is right it's even got our name on it they made this for us so get out of here Right? Yes, 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 yes. Right? Riveted, right? Leather. Uh-huh. Kydex. Good clips. Yeah. Okay. Right? The Brave Response, right? New new style. Right, right. The the, the, the newest, right? A lot of doubt. I don't like that. I, I a lot of doubt. Wish, You'll want it I to almost work. hope it will. I You'll want, want it to work. work. Right. Yeah. So here's the deal. It's your birthday. <laughs> and I'm buying you a holster for your birthday. Oh, Lord. All right? But I'm only buying you one holster, not two holsters. Uh, so, this is what we're going to do. Right? Yeah. You're going to pick a holster. Okay. And you're going to wear it for three months. Three months. I'm going to take the holster you didn't pick, and I'm going to wear it for three months. Okay. At the end of the three months, we're going to sit down, and we're going to review the two holsters. Okay. And then we're going to swap. And you're going to go to the next one for three months. And I'm going to go to the other one. Oh, that's a big commitment. Three months. Well, it's three, months three months to a holster is a Six, big commitment. Yeah. But you're never going to really truly know whether you like it or not unless yeah. you really wear it. Yeah, that's so, a big commitment. So, three, 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 three. Okay. And we're going to review it along the way. All right. And then All give right. our... I could do that. And give an honest review on how we feel about it. Okay. And at the end, whichever holster you like better is your holster. Whichever holster I like better, that you don't like better is my holster because it's your birthday, not my birthday. Okay, okay. And if it turns wait, wait, out... Wait, wait, wait. When is your birthday? April. In April? Okay. And if it turns out that you like both of them, now you tried one. Yeah. And you know whether you like it or not. Yeah. The other one. Okay. And if it turns out I like both of them, I got to try both of them for the price of one. Okay. And in the end, you get a holster for your birthday. Sounds good. What do you think? I think it sounds good. Okay. I think I'm going to... This is my one millionth try on a holster. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I have quite a few holsters. And I'm always looking for the next best thing. And um, I'm never really completely satisfied with the holster that I'm wearing. Well, here, look what I'm wearing. Yeah. Look at this. This, this is a holster that... <laughs> It is a DeSantis cowhide. Yeah. It says... Yeah, I've been a DeSantis cowhide. guy for right? years. Well, DeSantis, yeah, you know, yeah. DeSantis was a half mile from here. Really? Their manufacturing was a half mile from here. Oh, my God. And we used to walk in. When I, when I was a rookie in the police department, I walked in. I said, uh, can I buy, like, 20 holsters for my whole squad? <laughs> And the he guy said was no. Like, yeah, he didn't want to sell. He no. goes, no, no, we don't sell the right. Yeah, that's what I figured. But yeah. eventually, I kind of schmoozed him a little. Oh, okay. He did, but they they've since gone global, and I mean, they it was a mom and pop manufacturing place right down the block. Right on that name. What kind of bourbon is this? This is the Jack Daniels Select, Select. single barrel select. Very Jack good. Daniels. By the way. Um, so this is my inside the waistband, right? <sighs> it works. works. It works, but it's not comfortable. You want to see something that works? Go ahead. Sure. Jack Ailes? Sure. Steve, you want anything? Oh, sticky. No, I'm good. Sticky holes. You got a sticky. I've been, I've been using, you see, I have to always, everything that I buy, I compare to this sticky holster. Which now, is a good thing. I, I'm sticky. not crazy, but 
I've been wearing this stupid sticky holster for a couple of years. Can now. I interrupt you? It, you? I almost got a sticky along with these two. Really? Yeah. I'm like nuts about this. <laughs> and it's and I and and I heard that sticky has a little clip. Because I'm always afraid it's gonna fall out. It never does. It never does, but I feel like it's gonna fall out. Uh, there's nothing in the chamber here. I just have an, uh, a magazine because I knew we were going to do this little thing. So, But I was, um, you can see it's worn out. I wear this with everything. And is it really stick? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I, I, I wear it with everything. Uh, again, I don't have a belt on anymore because I'm... But you wear it without Trying a belt. To go, yeah, I'm wearing it without a belt. I just wear it inside my pants. It doesn't fall out. I love the sticky holster. I might even buy one with, with a, clip. a little clip. That's my next. When this starts to wear out, the next one I get, I'm going to get with a clip. But I would like to try that because you can't wear this with, um, you got to wear this with a pair of pants. Right. You can't wear this with gym shorts or, or sweatpants or jogging on the beach. This is not going to do it. It's going to kind of fall down right. eventually. The weight of the firearm is going to is going to cause it to fall down. So, I mean, well, there. I actually never had one of those. This um, was just some clip-ons. I'm always, you know, pancakes and. You know, when I don't have this, it's a regular outside the waistband pancake. But, but this thing, excuse me, I'm, yeah. this thing is just I wear it inside my pants, and it's just always there. You can't see it. I love my sticky holster. But again, you have to have a pair of pants. All right. So, same thing with that. Yeah. Yeah, same thing with that. I'm kind of liking it. Now, the thing that I don't like about this what? is, um, although the gun never, ever slips out of it, mm -hmm. it for some reason, it, it just feels like it's going to go. Oh, no. This this doesn't slip out at all. No, it doesn't. But they because I guess they're so soft, maybe, they feel like they have no retention. You know, mm. but they also, it, you feel it. Yeah. You know, if you're yeah. wearing it all day long. Yeah. Especially for a guy with a little bit of a love handle. Yeah. You feel it. Yeah. Where I you, don't, I don't feel this at all. Well, you're not supposed to feel this really? at all. Really? That this leather. It seems like there's just a lot of stuff to put They're in. saying you're not supposed to feel it. It just seems like a lot of stuff. It does. To put inside your it pants. Does. But the micro, like I said, the micro they don't make for a Glock 26. The micro is only about a half inch smaller all the way this around. This is a beautiful holster. I, I love Kydex holsters. I mean, they're just, I mean, the, the, the weapon just fits in. It's so beautiful. It just, it locks in, you know? You can hear that click when it goes in, and you know you just give it a good tug. Now they call this. Out. Now they call this a but hybrid. This stuff is just so right? much. They call this a hybrid, and they call this a hybrid being that it's leather and Kydex. See right? now, notice on the sticky, you have to take it out to holster to put it back to holster yeah. it back in, and like that's a not. Holster. And like it's a not, pocket it's, holster. It is a pocket holster. As a matter of fact, I could put it inside my pocket. I don't, I don't, typically, I don't do this. I don't want a big bulge in my pocket, but that's, it is a pocket if holster. If you lost a little bit of weight, you wouldn't have to. Oh, my God. Okay. But like I say, um, but if you're not wearing pants and you're wearing sweatpants, this seems really nice. So, that's what we got. But you that, need, you need a belt. You need a belt. You need so, a belt for that. So, you're going to go one? I'm going to yeah. go to the other? Yes. The yes. end of three months, we're going to switch good. back. It's a deal. I like and it. And then whichever thumb one you like. Wow, the thumb break. Whichever one you like at the end yeah. is your birthday present. <laughs> so it's going to take me how much? Six, Six months, months to, to get a birthday, birthday present? present? Yep. Mm. If I had to say, that looks like a lot to put in my pants. If I'm going to do that, I might as well... Um, just get a Kydex outside. Well, I, I can't say. Well, I shouldn't say. You know what they do make? I shouldn't pre. Now um, I don't know if, pre if Crossbreed makes one, mm -hmm. but I know there's a guy that makes that. one, which is a leather back with Kydex and Kydex instead of Kydex to leather. So yeah. th this is called a hybrid because it's no. Kydex to leather. I, but the leather has got to be better. Well, the other guys I make love one that's Kydex to Kydex, 
but it's also got a leather back. Huh. So the retention is better because mm -hmm. it's Cardex to Cardex. Yes. Yes. The retention is not an issue. Okay. You know, concealed carry, I don't consider retention. I don't, I, I'm concealed. I don't see someone coming up and trying to grab. No, but not retention from you, the gun falling, falling out. out. Come on. Well, I, 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 leave, I lead an active lifestyle. Really? How old are we? Are we jumping up and down that we're going upside down? We're, up, uh, uh, we're, we're head over heels that we're, the gun's going to fall out? You know, it I ain't do, never going to fall out. It's not going to fall out of here. It's not going to fall out of here. I do Give cartwheels me a break. all day long. Cartwheels, yeah. Yeah, my brother does cartwheels. My kid brother does cartwheels. That's right. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm working on cars. I'm climbing You're on cars. You're working on cars, yeah. Jeez. I'm doing Axel's Garage videos. Axel's Garage. Are you going to get me a pickup truck? I want to... I want to... I want one like this. Yeah, all right. This. I want a '50s pickup truck. He wants a '50s truck pickup truck. My father-in-law wants all, a '50s pickup truck. I want it all-wheel drive because I got to drive it in the winter. Winter. <laughs> they didn't have all-wheel drive. They didn't have all-wheel drive. drive. No. <laughs> what do you do? You want cruise control also? <laughs> no, I don't want cruise. Yeah, I don't need cruise. All right. So well, that's what we got. I, I, I'm, we're 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 going off the track. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Cross -breed. I'm sorry. Crossbreed. I'm sorry. Okay. Crossbreed, brave response. We're gonna do the six month challenge. No bullshit. No bullshit. Real video. Yeah. At the end of three months. So in three months, check back. Uh, yeah. Three months, which is gonna be about March. How long you're in March? You're away the whole month. I'm away March? January, February, March. No, I'm coming back in April. April. So yeah, beginning of April. April yeah. Beginning of April, we're gonna talk about the holster that we wore for the three months. What we liked, what we didn't like. Okay. And then we're going to swap. All right. And we're going to keep it clock 26. I'm not going to put a different gun in. No, no, no. We're going to no, keep it 26 no, no. because that's, that's what we both carry. That's what we carry. That's what I carry. Right. Now, I I, I carry the 26 right now. Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm going to carry it forever. No. There's a couple that I'm looking at. Yeah. All right. There's always something new on the horizon. <laughs> But right now, we're going to keep it 26. Yeah, we'll keep this one. This way, it's easy. We're, 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 it's yes. apples to apples. Apple it's apple. a fat gun. We know that. It's not the best for putting inside your waistband. We know that. You're killing me. We know there's thinner guns. Yes. But we're going to review these holsters with the 26. Thinner guns. And if, and if you have a thinner gun, it's even that much better. Give me a break. But it'll be that much better. How much thinner is the thinner gun? It's a little thinner. Oh, my God. They claim a little you know, thinner is a lot. It's bullshit. Okay. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I want 10 rounds. I want 10 That's rounds. That's like the, the minimum that we have in this The way state. I look at it is... Give me, give me a break. I want 10 rounds. At least. And if I don't have 10 rounds, I want to be able to put it in my front pocket. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Right. If I, if I don't have 10 rounds in the gun, right. I want to be able to put it in my pocket. Because I'd rather carry it in my pocket. I'd rather carry 15. I'd be in my pocket. All right. <laughs> you know, with that line, we're going to leave you. I'd rather carry 15. That's all we got tonight from Axel's Garage. If you like the video, give us the thumbs up. If you like what we do on Axel's Garage, subscribe to our channel. God and bless. check back in three months, beginning of April or so. We're going to do our three-month update on whichever one. Do you know which one you're going to go with first? That one. He's going to go with the uh, Brave Response first. And I'm going to go with the Crossbreed then, by default, because it is his birthday present. Yes. All right? So check back with us beginning of April. We'll give you the update. As always, thanks for watching. We Merry Christmas. God bless.